Hi everybody, today I want to demo real quick uh, the project that I've been working on for the past year. Um, it's called Ornette and it's a tool for AI based uh, musical improvisation. It allows you to use different machine learning models to generate music dynamically and to play it back as sound. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you today is how you can run this project. Here I have a folder where I clone the repository and I'm running a program called Super Collider in this number one tab here. Uh, and this is what is going to be used to actually generate sound. In the project folder I'm going to run python dot and it automatically prompts me to select a machine learning model. Here we have uh, six models. Most of them are from Magenta. Magenta models, for instance, are developed using TensorFlow, whereas RL Duet is implemented using PyTorch. So in the future we want to expand this selection. But for the time being, these are the models we have. Um, I'm going to test out Performance RNN today. And the moment I select Performance RNN, it prompts me to select a bundle, uh, which is basically a pre-trained configuration of the model. So I'm going to choose uh, Performance, the Performance Checkpoint. Um, Okay, so it starts up a server which is running performance RNN inside of it and now what we can do is we can issue commands to it. Okay, so I'm going to issue a command called start which uh, basically triggers the engine to begin generating musical information and playing it back. Let's see what comes up. So bear in mind, um, this is a stochastic process, so um, yeah, sometimes it may go off the hook and do something weird. Okay, it's generating music. Okay, so this piano sound, for instance, it's being rendered using a super collider quark called Super Dirt, which is the backhand for title cycles, which is the main language I use for live coding. If you want to actually hear like um, a more precise representation of the data that is being rendered here, we can actually save this generated song to a MIDI file and play it back using another tool. So let's see how that sounds, like the exact same information just played back through another tool. I'm going to save this as test 2022-0102 and run. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to end the server, and if I go to output, so yes, um, I do have a file called test, yes, which, and, and this is the output we just generated, so I'm going to play it back. has been generated again using a machine learning sequence model uh, created by Magenta at Google Brain called Performance RNN. It's a recurrent neural network. It's a very advanced like machine learning model. Just by having Docker installed and running this program you can tap into this creative potential and I think that's so cool. A little bit of backstory. Uh, I was researching this for my major uh, graduation project. What I found is that each individual machine learning model actually kind of implements its own system to play back its own sound. And what I wanted to explore instead was like, hey, maybe can I have a system where uh, I can abstract away the technical requirements of uh, each of these models? Because if I can, then maybe I can have the same system robustly engineered uh, with good features and with the ability to interact 
with like many different creative tools interchangeably. So that was kind of the goal. And in fact, like uh, let's try it. Let's try something out. Let's um, let's try a different model now. I'm going to try a model called Polyphony RNN. And to do that, I, I don't want to be prompted this time, so instead I'm going to send these. I'm going to send the model selection via uh, command line arguments. I can do that uh, by passing the model name and checkpoint. And I'm also going to pass in an exact flag, which basically means, hey, run this once you boot. And I'm going to tell it to automatically start. So this way you really have no prompts, nothing in the way. You just like get to the music being played. see it's um, it's a very different sound it's quantized to a much lower resolution than performance audience, so there's very little in terms of nuance uh, including in terms of velocity uh, but also in time so that that's the interesting thing like you can use different models that create uh, music that sounds uh, with different artists or that have different characteristics Again, let's stop this. Let's save as test 2022 01022. Bam. And okay, so now we have this file here. And finally, let's play it back again. So um, how does this happen? Um, basically, each model is being abstracted away into what I call a module. So here's a folder where you have um, the modules that I implemented myself. Uh, let's take Performance RNN for instance. This is the folder uh, and what's inside, you can see we have a Docker file to, to abstract the environment in a container. Um, this is our container image definition. We have a Python class I call Ornet, which is what actually implements uh, the, the thing. And these files um, I took from the Magenta main repository, which are the actual definition of the models. Let's take a look at this Ornet.py. Okay, so here is a Python class. I'm importing uh, the Magenta library. So it's not a large file. It's uh, 86 lines of code. Uh, it's really not that big. And here we have the, the all we need for the server to recognize this model and to be able to run it. And I think that's cool. Okay, so finally I'm going to show you how you can install this program. So um, let's go back to my git folder, git clone, the repository, and a folder called onnet demo. So, we just cloned the repository, it's fresh clean, uh, we are just going to enter it then. Okay, so the requirements are first, docker, you have to make sure that you have the docker command installed. Um, you also have to have super collider, uh, which is the sclang command here. And if you do have both of these installed, then uh, you just have to install the pip uh, requirements and there's a text file that helps you with that. Uh, I already have these installed. And once you do that, you can just come and run Python dot. The first time you run this, you will actually not have these bundles. They will be downloaded from the internet. Okay, so to demonstrate that, I'm going to start up Performance RNN with a bundle I do not have installed yet. Um, I'm going to run Performance with Dynamics, which I think I do not have installed here. Yeah, okay, so it's going to download from this link. This link I have specified myself in the ornet.yaml file inside of the module folder. Uh, if you inform the, the checkpoints and their respective download links there, uh, then ornet will automatically be able to download them to its local folder and to use them. Okay, so now I'm running a different model than I was before. Uh, okay, so I think that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this and I'm really excited 
for people to try this out. Uh, if you are a live coder, if you are a person who wants to delve into AI generated music, please feel free to clone this repository to try it out uh, and to contribute as well. Um, okay, see you guys next time and thanks for watching.